As you already know, on Friday morning, I left my apartment at 6 a.m. after staying up all night writing a paper so that I could take a bus to the train station and take a train to Rennes to visit Gael. Also to eat. We did a lot of that. She showed me around the town and we went to this awesome rose garden, which, aside from being beautiful, had awesomely named flowers. Things like tequila, Orion, avalanche, and... Fant stick. And then we ate more delicious things. And the next day, we walked around Giles Town and saw more pretty. She said that the town's all excited about its new commercial center, which is clearly just a strip mall, a phenomenon as ubiquitous as Coca-Cola in the U.S. I went back to Rennes on my own while Gael was at work and sat in this lovely little square where they had lawn chairs out for everyone to sit and enjoy the sun. After, of course, eating and sitting for a while, I walked around and enjoyed the general excellence of all things France, and was so grateful to get to see a part of the country that isn't Paris, because I sometimes forget that there is a part of the country that isn't Paris. Look how cool these buildings are, and they don't have them in Paris. I filmed this guy's black so I could look up who he is, but I forgot to do that. Oh well. And I also filmed this carousel so that I could record the creepy song it was playing, you know, without also creepily filming a bunch of kids I don't know. But the noise of the buses drowned it out. Something about being off to find a new world because we're happy, happy servants of the Lord. Across the street is that staple of all cities in Europe in your guidebooks, an old church. Anyway, after some more exploring and trying not to be sad that I'm going back to the U.S. far too soon, and at some point inexplicably deciding that it was a good idea to film my feet, I rejoined my lovely hostess, who got caught up on her Vlogbrothers videos that day and spent the rest of the weekend doing this. We went to dinner with her family before going to Parliament and Rand for a thing. Weird lights, fusion, explosions picture thing that is projected on the building and it yeah it looks like it's going to be fun so we're here the whole thing was actually really impressive and i wish i could have captured it all but my footage just doesn't do it justice and i'm not sure what i even would have done with a 30 minute video of this so this is all you get the next day, we went to the coast to see Kyle's best friend and enjoy the sun, which apparently had only just come out upon my arrival. We ate the world's greatest ice cream and got sunburns and had a wonderful summer Sunday. And this morning, I had to catch a train that would take me back to my last week of living in Paris. I couldn't even be sad about leaving Rennes and Gael or my impending departure from Europe because I was a little too overwhelmed by this feeling that the world is awesome and that I won't stop trying to see all of it and that going back home isn't some sort of death sentence. Sitting on a train in France, going from meeting my super awesome YouTube friend to my super awesome studio in Paris, there's not much else to say or think. Since I can't muster up John Green's eloquence, we leave you with this bit of nerdfighter ridiculousness. Ren. In English, when you see the letters R E N N E S, it should be Rens. Ren. Yeah, there's a French R in that, but you know. Ren. Ren. Yeah, that's.